All right, guys, just a quick one before um, this video starts. Thanks for everybody for sending all the videos in. Of the what's in the bags, there's a lot more to come, but keep sending them in. It's very interesting to see the people that are commenting who they are um, in person and um, and where they play and, and, and how they play and what they play with. So uh, it is Jared Kleeman. Jared Kleeman has sent this in of uh, Ratho Farm, I think, down in Tasmania. Really interesting. It literally is a farm. So check it out. Thanks, Jared, for sending it in. Continue to send in your stuff, guys, please. Very, very informative. Very, very happy that people are getting on board. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, like I said. And Jared, thanks for sending this in. Enjoy, guys. He put this together. This is not my edit at all. And thank you very much. Cheers, Jared. Thanks, everybody. Hi, guys. Jared Kleeman from Tasmania. Um, just thought I'd come today to the oldest golf course in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, Raffo Farm in Bockwell, Tasmania. Not my local course, um, but I thought I'd just play some holes, pick some of the good ones out, and uh, do a quick little vlog for you guys. Um, hope you enjoy. Cheers. Rightio, so we're on the third. It's a 495 metre par five, and we're just going to shoot over the, the stockyards and dog legs down to the river. And uh, yeah, in typical Tasmanian style, guys, the uh, the heavens have opened and we got a bit of a bit of rain. It was quite nice when we teed off. A bit of overcast this morning, but now it's coming down. So uh, hopefully it buggers off. But if not, it uh, should make for some interesting golf. Cheers. Well, yes, this one's a three thirty-eight metre par uh, four. We had the wharf on the river up here. And we're going to shoot back down that way. So nice, a nice looking hole. Um, let's see if I can do something here. any better so uh, we'll get down and see what we've got left to go. Right here so we've got 129 to the pin. Uh, looks like it might be oh, a little front. It's hard to see from here. Just sort of shoots down this little bit of a valley. So I've got a I'm going on a nine iron. Um, I've been hitting my balls a little bit longer than normally 130 I would have took an eight but for the last few weeks I've been hitting them just that tad longer. Uh, rain's starting to ease off, so uh, let's get in and see how we go. After that horrible, thin, skanky looking shot, it's left me with a little 30, 30 odd metre little pitch. 
Uh, part of my game I'm actually working on a fair bit at the moment, so I'm going to try 60 degree. I probably normally wouldn't, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It's on there. Rightio, so full shot now, so need a decent putt here. Uh, as you'll see when the camera gets on the other side, sort of downhill left to right, weird shaped green, but sort of comes into a bowl here where the hole is. So let's see if we can knock it in. If not, get it close and we'll take the bogey and get out of here. Not the best putt. Um, it's, Lewis is a tricky one for bogey. Never in doubt. <laughs> right, now, so we're on the six now. It's a, a 235 metre uh, R4. When the camera turns around, you see it's, they're, they're all pretty straightforward holes. Um, so we'll see, we'll get it down there hopefully. Drive, I usually drive about a couple hundred meters, so we'll try and get it down there and uh, hopefully redeem ourselves from the last hole. So I got the drive away great, uh, drove the green, little probably 10, 10 footer. Um, let's see if we can uh, do some damage here. It's a downhill putt, uh, it's breaking right to left. I'll, uh, I'll take a birdie any day of the week. Um, not an overly big hole, but yeah, you've got to take them when you get them. This par three, pretty straightforward, just straight down here, 130 metres. Got an eight iron, let's see how we go. Landed on, it didn't hit it nicely, probably more off the bottom grooves, but it's on there. Let's go. Right now, so as you see, we landed on a uh, bit of a testy putt and sort of uphill, pretty straight at it. The greens have been fairly slow, so I've got to remember that. Um, used to putting on some pretty slick greens at my home course, so uh, let's see how we go with this one. Tap in for par. Lovely, not a bad little hole, nice little par three, fairly straightforward. Um, another cool feature is I think they got the original, original flag sticks. 
All right, guys, we're on the eighth now, which is a 193 meter par three. There's 193. Um, just lined the tee shot. The, you can see the flag, um, but yeah, looks like you shoot back towards the uh, shearers sheds, the, the stockyards, and that, and we head back towards the homestead. So um, we'll, see, we'll see how we go. Right, yeah. So I've got uh, a little, got the free wood. I'm just going to try and aim for. There's a telegraph pole in between the sort of shearer's shed, shear shed and the green uh, and try and fade it in. I'll probably hit it straight, but let's see how we go. Oh, Didn't quite come back enough. Uh, stuck, stayed out left a bit, so we'll see if we're in any trouble when we get down there. Right, yeah, so about 20, 25 metres short of the green. Uh, the shed I was aiming for, so I have got a little bit of a fade, not much, not as much as I would have liked to get to the green over here. Um, let's try, try a little chip and run into the green and try and salvage a uh, par. Sort of hit the side of the green and uh, stayed there. So if we get down, have a putt. There we go. Let's see if we can get this in or at least get it close. Good putt. Nice little uh, up and down the safe par there. That's uh, what we wanted. <laughs> 